Is there life beyond planet Earth? Do extraterrestrials exist? If yes, where? Are we alone or do we have company in this vast cosmos? These questions are as old as time and NASA hopes to find an answer to a big question. Are there extraterrestrials on Jupiter's moon? That's the focus of a NASA probe. What do we know about it? When does it kick off? What's the plan? Why Jupiter's moon? Let's break it all down for you. Now, as we all know, Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system and NASA's interplanetary probe has its destination set for one of Jupiter's moons. It is called Europa. Scientists believe it is covered in frozen water. It is almost as large as Earth's moon and is the fourth largest moon of Jupiter. Europa has been long thought of, thought of as a potential host for extraterrestrial life in our solar system, in fact. Let's just tell you more about the mission now. The Clipper spacecraft is due to blast off in October. This is a $5 billion probe. And how soon do we expect to get an answer to the million dollar questions I just mentioned? I'm sure you are very eager, but it will be a long wait, so we will have to be patient. The year 2031 is when the spacecraft should be in orbit around Jupiter and Europa. A detailed study of Europa will start. How exactly will it work? According to the mission's project scientist, Bob Papalardo, they have instruments like cameras and spectrometers, a magnetometer and a radar that can basically penetrate right through ice, bounce off, bounce off liquid water and back to the surface to tell them how thick the ice is and where liquid water is located. Now the thing is the expectation is not to find little green aliens swimming in the water though that is perhaps one of the first images that comes to one's mind when thinking of extraterrestrials thanks to the sci-fi movies out there according to the mission managers they are not even looking for life itself only for the conditions that could support it which in itself will be a very crucial breakthrough of course as per jordan evans project manager for the europa clipper mission if moons around planets far away from stars could hold life then the number of opportunities around the solar system, around the universe, where life could take hold, goes up dramatically. Naturally, there are a number of challenges. The vast distances basically mean that when Clipper sends its data back, the signal will take 45 minutes to arrive at the mission control. Also, keeping Clipper powered will be a major challenge. The planning for this mission started in the late 1990s. It is expected to conclude around 2034. That's when Clipper will likely have reached the end of its useful life. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.